So thank you, Dalton, or thank you, Bob, tonight for this so much. I wasn't even expecting this one. But here we go. The real reason for the package. Um, the Fright Times. Which are like three spot, like they're three spine chilling stories for kids in here. So they got Fright Time. Okay, this is not a, uh, Nightmare Creatures, Night, or Night Creatures, Who Am I in Cemetery School is in this one. I think this is the first one. The first one, yeah. There we go. Let read the back of it real quick. So Night Creatures, these are how it goes. Warren hates moving. He hates new neighborhoods. But when he sees what, when he, in the, uh, what's in his, the yard do, or the yard next door, he tr hates turning the fear, deadly fear. The elderly neighbor is sent to the hospital. The creature like plants in the old man's yard come alive and attacking everything and everyone. Can one destroy them all, or will he be the next victim of the night creatures? Okay, that's, pretty, that's a pretty cool story. I actually like that uh, idea. Um, who am I? It's a, not a your everyday nightmare. You get up, you get ready for school, you go downstairs for breakfast. Only your parents don't know who you are, and neither do your friends. Or your teachers, or anyone. The hospital has no record of your birth, and the police and, and the police believe everybody except you. How do you get out of this one? That one will be scary as fuck. I, I'm not even lying. That would be terrifying for me. Um, cemetery school. For any school 
almost is fit is falling apart. The strange thing is it's it's it is brand new. But as each day something else goes wrong, horribly wrong, Randy and his pal Eric become convicted convinced that the, the, the causes of are not natural. Sorry. I stutter sometimes, guys. I'm I'm sorry about that. They're super they're supernatural, but nobody gives nobody nobody's going to believe them until they themselves stop the horror unless something horrible happens to them first. Okay, look for more Fright Time stories and Hot Finding Stink Spine Chingling Terror Suspense. That was the first one. Again, look in that. Yeah. Looks dope as fuck. Definitely gonna be reading these at some point. Um hey, I'm gonna bring these on my trip to, you know, uh <laughs> to Chicago that I'll be taking soon, um, in June. Um, June 21st of June, um, July 1st, I'll be in Chicago for a little bit, so guys, so, that'll be awesome, right? Um, three, Horse of Fear, Ghost of Twin, Ghost Twin, and Something in the Sewer. So, here we go, right time. Uh, Horse of Fear, my sister it thinks the strange light from the sky is shooting um is a shooting star but when they, they leave their farmhouse to see they find themselves in a group of powerful creatures who just landed in search of human specimens mike must battle them with everything he's got plus a lot of things he didn't he didn't start out with oh okay interesting he goes to him peter always wondered about charlie his twin who died at birth until the day charlie shows up in peter's mirror from then on the terror never quits as charlie takes try to take over peter's life and send peter to the world he came from Switch places between the, the living and the dead. But can Peter destroy the ghost of his own brother? Or even, even to save his own life? That's, that's just interesting. Um, it's no, Something is in, in the sewer. It's noisy, it's smelly, it's, and it's coming after Tony. But no one believes will believe it's there. Or only Sheldon, who's actually the scene, who's actually seen the creature. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, meanwhile... Kids are disappearing, and boys have got to and the boys have got to find them to prove that there is danger lurking in the sewer, threatening the whole town. But really going, but really going down there, there's some, that's something else. Look for more fright times, it says. Okay, that was um. I'm gonna show you the, like, the number in here. I mean, it's a series. It's a series, though. Okay, well this is number two. This is number four. Number nine. So, I, I, are these like special editions or like it's not normally these? So, let's read this one. The Terror Town, um, the Metal Horror, and Kid Willie's Ghost. There we go. Terror Town. What Matt, when Matt takes over his older brother's paper route, he takes on something else too. Something that's, that has him running for his life. Something that's turning. Once normal neighbors into monsters, that's turning the pre-dawn town into nightmare, into a nightmare. Is that some Matt's scary new customer, or is that something Matt's scary new customer, or someone even closer to Matt to himself? Into a nightmare. Oh, okay, I get, it, I get. It. Metal of of horror. Here we go. Eric and his kid brother. Both loves to swim. Uh, okay, well, I used to like swimming. I don't swim that much anymore. I can still swim. But a near drowning accident has them both scarred. Especially when Bell's, Ben tells um, Eric someone was pulling him down the pond near the uh, their new home. Only Ben can see the ghost boy. But Eric knows the strange and scary story is true. Then, other then the other accidents, the star accidents, star, the accidents too deadly dangerous to ignore. Kid Willie's Ducks, a haunted ba baseball park, okay, is only beginning to beginning of just problems when the ghost follows him home. The terror really begins. A, ba a ball player who disappeared 20 years 20 years before may be only only hope, but, you, but can Jeff find him in the time to stop Stonetown Park from turning into a few residents? That's interesting. I might even want to read that because I like baseball. This one has uh, the White Phantom, Nightmare Neighbors, and Camp Fear. Ooh, Camp. Sorry about that, guys. Um, is he the most gruesome dog that ever, ever lived? Or the ghost protecting? Sacred, sacred Battle of Grounds. 
people in the area I'm only swear to God please don't fuck it we're gonna have to hear this bullshit a ghost protecting the sacred burial grounds people in the area only have only heard his howling and know the le legends but now his paw prints are on the ridge just above the Annie's house a strange girl says he, she's seen him don't go above the ridge uh, folks tell Andy but he, but he um but he must Never neighbors, what's the when, what's the blob on the kitchen counter? Matt w wants to know, but his mom can't explain it, or the or the scratch on her face either. But when the weird new neighbor comes to the call, there's worse on the way. When Matt realizes the newcomers are aren't are even after his babysitter, he knows he's got to do something. But what? He can't fear. The guys from Tent Seven are just goofing on the beach when a loud explosion splits the air. But that, that's just the beginning of their problem. Something or even someone has the rest of the camp into a, in a suspended animation. Oh my god, yo, yo. I love, that would be terrifying. Like everyone just frozen in their fucking... He said you... <laughs> oh hell no! Fucking place, bro. That'd be fucking terrifying. Everyone that is, except the, word, the weird director and his even weirder assistant. Then there's a ghost. What exactly does he want or who? Yo, that's, that's actually pretty fucking cool. I will definitely read that. Okay, this is book four. Don't breathe over nightmare. It's in the attic. Yeah, okay, that's it. I forgot. I ain't even showing you the artwork yet. How about I? Let me just show you the artwork. Okay, that's the these. Artwork. Artwork. Don't breathe. The three complete stories of haunting of haunting and horror. Ricky, okay, this is number don't, don't this is number one. Don't breathe. Ricky is excited when his family suddenly moves to Florida, but oh fuck, Florida, where are you from? Yay, where I'm moving right now. But the new town is oh, not from there. Sorry, I'm from Chicago, but. <laughs> But the new town is almost too perfect. Everyone is too friendly to and too polite. Even the kids. Okay, first of all, it's not Florida. It's not like Florida. And what's the mysterious st stuff being piped through the vents? Even his own house. Maybe it's just imagination. Ricky thinks until he discovers the hideous secrets. The whole town is hiding. But will it be too late? Over overnight mayor. Here we go. The guys are all geared up for the overnight camp out, jumping a fence into into off limits territory, making it seem even more daring. But nobody's ready for the ghost of a long ago battle who dragged the kids into a life or death war to finish. In the heat of attack, who's the real enemy? Or who's who's the real enemy and who's the, and who's even real? That's actually a pretty good one. It's in the attic. Maddie's friends envy her for living in such a mysterious old house. But Maddie's not so sure. Night when, not when candles blow out themselves, or stairs creak when there's nobody on them. A strange haunted voice calls out for help. When Mary starts to speak in the voice of the ghost, maybe it would help her. So basically, that's a possession, bro. Let's get, this last, let's get into this last book. So, here we go. Uh, the Fright Time. Out of the Duck. It hurts by night, hunts by night, and Keeper of the Tombs. Let's look into this a little bit of the stories real quick. Um, here we go. Uh, out of the Duck. Yes, the family is finally headed for the great theme park that's open nearby, and Jonathan's more than ready, more than ready. He's up for fun, 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 and more fun, until he's confronted by a band of ghastly beings with their own spooky plans for Jonathan Summer. That actually sounds pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm out read that while I'm on the, you know, playing or something. Hey, how long are these stories, bro? Are the dark, are the dark, are the dark? Yo, they're really, Ash, like, like this one's like 60 pages, bro. Yeah, six pages, bro. That's not even bad, bro. I can do that. I can breeze through that, bro. Ryan and Kevin are cousins on a cool camping trip. But when they get separated from their families and lost in the dark forest and take a shelter in the desert, deserted, deserted cabin, they find their trip. Um, they're on a trip of te to terror with a madman for their guide. You know, that was scary as shit. A madman is your guide. You can trust one word he said. Is it this way? Is it this way to the bathroom? I do not know. I am therefore crazy. I am crazy. The Pyramid Mike and Jack. Uh, keeper of the tombs. The Pyramid Mike and Jack are building 
in the backyard looked pretty good. It might even be a highlight of the, of the parents' night at school. But, when, but suddenly, they're under the pyramid falling through a tunnel that wasn't there before. And there's no way to get back. Yo, that's actually pretty cool. I would definitely, like, what the... Yo, that would definitely be awesome. Okay, here we got... Like, a, um, old school, uh, fucking... Other Fright Time books. Mad Men on the main, on the main stage. Scary Harry, it's almost dark. That's number one. We already got the number two. We got three. Out of four. We got four. Don't have three. We have two. This is number nine. We have Creatures from the Ice and Dead End Drive Exchange. Hotel Horror, it's really me in Creepy Country. Wait, so that's number six. So Night Creatures, who am I in Summer Day School is number six. Mad Man on Main Street. Scary Harry, it's almost dark. That's number one. And number three is Terror Town Metal of Horror and Kid. Horror Kid. Oh, well, good, so let me get a straight here. Let me get this in order real quick. So we have. Uh, 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 that was number two, I believe. Uh, that was number what? Number one. Right now we have two, three, three, four, and five, and nine, and six and nine. So that's pretty dope. You know, half we got half, and there's only twelve books, bro. That's even that's fucking even doper. So, yo, thanks Alden for this, or thank you Bumps and I for this. Thank you so much. Really appreciate these, man. I will definitely be reading these on my trip. I'm probably on the plane. Um, since like one is like they're kind of sixty pages each. Hey everybody, it's um, your boy Jerry Butch. Just wanted to say a big thank you to my boy Bumps and Night for this package. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, you can see I'm wearing a different shirt than I was originally, is because yesterday at the end of my video, before my end of my video, um, which you won't be able to see that part, my dad starts screaming for me that dinner's ready. So, well, well right enough to hear my dad scream in my voice while well, he's kind of like got a bag on him, if you know what I mean. Um, at the time of his, at the time of his, my dinner's ready. Uh, I just decided, you know, make this one quick thing. Um, everything's good. Um, just want to put a R.A.P. in the chat for my mom and sister. They're, they're just getting over, um, food, food poisoning. I uh, just want to say that. Um, thank you all for watching this video, obviously. And, uh, just want to say thank you again to Bumps in the Night for this, um, amazing books. I actually don't have a movie in the back of my room now. Um, I was going to also say, you know, Bumps, if you could check out, keep an eye out for the rest of those, two, the last two of those. The rest of those I have, you gave me two, four, five, three, six, and nine. Yeah. So I just need one, 
and then from there to tw from after that from 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. These are 12 books in total. Then I'll have the whole set. Thank you all for um, thank you again for watching. Don't give my boy bumps in the night. Hey, subscribe, subscribe, uh, subscribe. You know you really deserve that. And um, that's it for you, this video, guys. Peace out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as I said before. And um, I just want to thank you all for watching. And you all have a great night. Peace. And remember, anime and horror is forever. Yeah. 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 I said, eh, eh. I said, eh, eh, eh. Whoa. First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I got booty girls riding on my dick like a horse. Burn figmas, I'm figmas. These people can't stop me. 2D girls fucking be sent by his new hobby. Pull the pants to off the ship to your wife. Who I'm the king of this shit. Wife is rocking from the nation just to come hear me spit. Got the 2D game unlocked.